D, anything um, that needs corrected. On Thanks. the Freedom, all you do is taxi up to the cat. If you're operating on the Nimitz, you're going to go ahead and extend your launch bar here. Um, because I'm on the Freedom, it's throwing that error, but don't worry, that error won't hurt anything. So now taxi up to the cat here, and you want to be careful once you get a little closer. You don't taxi too far, and once you're in position, you'll get a little graphical representation. It tells you to push the square, or the space. There it is. Hold space to initiate launch. All you have to do is hold space there. They'll get you locked up into the cat, and then off you go. Just a little bit of back pressure, full throttle, and uh, maintain your heading, and then turn off into the pattern or into the climb. Okay, on to case one. Carrier landing. Uh, case one recovery is a good weather daytime landing on the boat. Um, there are all kinds of procedures and stuff that you need to do. Obviously, on Arma, these are greatly simplified. So, number one, we make sure our hook is down. Now we're begin going to begin our recovery pattern. We're going to fly alongside of the ship the same direction as we will be landing and observe the deck to make sure the deck is clear. And it is. So now we're going to fly, can maintain this heading, and we're going to dirty up the airplane. All that means is putting the flaps all the way down, the gear all the way down, and uh, making sure that our hook is down, which it is. So now we're fully dirty. We're going to begin a 180 degree turn um, onto the downwind leg, and we want to make sure there's a little bit of space between us and the boat, ideally about 1.2 miles. Now that we're in a dirty configuration on our HUD, we have this E bracket right here, this thing that's shaped like an E, and what we're going to do is try and get our velocity vector right there centered up on that E bracket. When we do, we'll be uh, on what's called on speed. And when we're on speed, we have our AOA indexer here will be lit up with a yellow circle. On speed is has the airplane in the proper configuration um, where it's most likely to catch its tail hook on the arrestor cables on the deck. So there you can see right there we're now on speed. Okay. So now, right around here, uh, we're going to begin a turn onto our final. And then what we'll try and do is just get our velocity vector on the deck and uh, roll out more or less on the runway heading and then try and get on speed and land. Uh, on speed is really difficult, I'm finding, in Arma compared to other games just because there's no trim control. Normally, I use trim uh, to get on speed, but just doesn't exist in Arma, so have to do it stick and throttle, and it's certainly not easy. Alright, so see where we're at. We'll try and roll out of here, and then see what we can do to get on speed somewhat. Okay, we're a little bit, cut that a little bit short, so I'm extending it. And, okay, I'm going to fly this heading and then turn in right here. And we'll try and ride this all the way down. Got good on speed there. And there we go. We've got a good catch. Now, I don't know if you noticed up here, I did max my throttle as soon as we crossed the threshold. The reason that you do that is in case you get a bolter. What a bolter is, is it's when the uh, arrestor hook skips the cables or flops over them you'll skid off the end of the deck so you go full throttle in case that happens so you have enough energy to take off uh, and go around for another try.